Hey, what's up everyone? So for the last few weeks, I've actually been going through a process of redesigning my design agency website. My website right now, if I could be totally honest, I really, really hate it. Um, it's what we call an MVP, which is a minimum viable product. It's pretty much like what you can do for the bare minimum that works. And it's actually worked out. I've got some clients from it because, you know, they go to my website, they just want to see uh, there's some referrals there, some testimonials and just like, uh, you know, links to the websites that I've created and that's it. But for the last few months, I've been kind of working hard into totally redesigning our design agency website. And I thought it'd be kind of cool if I took you through the process of redesigning this website. Now I'm approaching this website redesign actually similar to how I would for a client website. So there's about four steps to this series of videos, which I like to call a website redesign. And the first one is the site map and the content. And that's actually this video. And then the second is the wireframe and then the mockup. And then there is the web flow development. And so I thought it'd be a good idea if I could just take, take you through the process step by step. And we're going to start out with the site map and the content. And hopefully as we go through these steps, you'll learn something along the way, something that you can apply through your um, design work, your freelance work, and how you can approach it to your client work as well. So I'm going to go ahead and break out the iPad and I'm going to show you kind of um, the site map and the content through Notion. That's usually how I start my website redesigns. And this is the new iPad Air 2020. I actually did a video of um, talking about it and why I got it, why it was good uh, for graphic designers to get it. So if you want to watch that video, you can click the link up here. So I went ahead and opened up Notion for you guys, which is kind of where I start out my process. And I guess, you know, this could also be showing you my Notion and how my Notion uh, uh, file looks. And I have here like my today, uh, my to-do list, you know, I have it split up into different sections, which is, um, like today, tomorrow, this week, next week, this quarter, and this year. So I'm able to also put like long-term goals in here. And if something that I need to do, I know like sometime this year or this quarter, I can put it over here. So these are some of the, some of the stuff that I do. My life is kind of broken up into different parts. I have my design agency, my freelance work. I have my social media that I like to manage, you know, like my Instagram and um, my LinkedIn and even of course my YouTube um, and actually I have a virtual assistant that manages a lot of my other content except for YouTube that one's actually me and then also there's my ministry work um, my dad is a pastor and I also help out in our church as well and these are just some of the projects that um, I've been you know I'm working on right now and so we have here we're gonna go ahead and click the Abra creative and then we have uh, these are just some of the things that um, on my database, we'll go and go to website redesign. And as you can see, it starts out with every content that I know I have to do. And um, I have this board thing here where it's pretty much three sections and it is um, not started in progress and then completed. As you can see, I've already completed the content and the sitemap. And actually I've already completed the wireframe for the homepage, the work page and the process page. It's funny, the next video, is about the wireframe, but I still have like two wireframes that I have to finish, which is the about page and the content, a contact page. And then some of the, those are kind of in progress right now. There's a video that I have, which is a video review of one of my clients. I actually flew out to Washington DC about a month ago, and you can see that video by clicking the link up here. And I had a great time over there. Got to visit one of my clients, and that was, I was actually there because I wanted to film a video of him recommending Abra Creative. He's a pretty high-profile client, so I thought a video would be really good. I would really help the business and help promote, you know, my freelance work, and also be good for the website. And then here are some of the things I haven't started yet. Um, we got the mock-up, web flow, responsiveness, SEO, launch. Um, and those will actually expand as we get to that stage. For example, right now it just says mock-up, but eventually I'm going to put like, you know, the mock-up for the home page, mock-up for the work page and the process page, and then the web flow development for each of these pages. And if you notice, I also have three videos I still have yet to film. I might be flying out to Philadelphia 
and film a client over there called um, for, for a company called Calibri um, STC. It worked on the UX um, for their product, and then also one for an animation studio and a church. But this one's here in the LA area, so I don't have to fly out for that one. But anyways, we'll go ahead and check out the content and site map, and maybe you can get some ideas from this content and site map that you can use for your process if you're you know kind of going through a website redesign if you want to rework your website maybe you can get some tips off of what i have here so i actually broke down my website into five different pages we have the home page the work page the process page the about page and the contact page i was thinking of doing like a blog page or kind of just like updates uh, as you know i've been posting youtube videos i sometimes post on instagram i post on twitter i try to be as active as I can on social media and I have been interested in writing kind of writing blogs and things like that but I thought I don't want to put a whole separate page for you know something that I'm not really consistent with the really the only thing right now that I'm consistent with is YouTube because I'm really enjoying YouTube I love working there so I thought I'll just go ahead and put some of that those elements blog elements into the about page for now it doesn't necessarily need its own page but we have our five main pages and the content for the home page is the uh, I broke it down uh, the what I have here for the content is pretty much broken down in order and you'll see this um, the next video when we show the wireframe you're gonna see all this content in order so we have the um, headline and with a CTA that's the call to action which is a book kind of book of free consultation with us what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have my Calendly. And by the way, if you haven't heard about Calendly, you should definitely check that out. Um, it's a great tool for people to book meetings with you. They can just see what are your available times. You can modify that and it's so easy and it goes six to your calendar. Helps me stay organized. So I'm planning on putting that on the website when they click book a free consultation, that it takes them to the Calendly where they can select a time to have a meeting with me. And so the second section is the featured work and video. This is gonna be like my latest um, you know, project and a video about it as well. Then I'm gonna put a little section there which is actually gonna be pretty cool. I'm gonna uh, animate it where it's uh, um, kind of one section but it's three sections within it where there's uh, um, pretty much why choose Abra Creative. Um, and then the three reasons are our process, our proof and our people. Um, and then I have other videos that I want to show, which is pretty much these are more recommendations. So instead of um, text recommendations, I'm going to have video recommendations. So I thought that would be, you know, kind of stand out a little bit, make it um, different. So we're going to have videos there from past clients. Um, and then after pretty much at the end of every page, is going to be a final CTA just to kind of take him back to uh, the call to action, which is, you know, it'll be like a question like, you know, uh, are you ready for a project? book a free consultation and then the footer of course and then there's the work pages pretty much the projects and you're gonna see the design in the wireframe a little bit on the next video but we have just pretty um, you know the projects that are worked on these are gonna be case studies as well so this very extensive I might actually make uh, another video uh, for case studies if you're interested in that if you're interested um, how to create a case study um, I'm not saying I'm perfect with it but I do my best. If you want, if you're interested in that, let me know in the comments below. And then we have the process. So this kind of uh, can show the client what is the process, what, what are they going to expect if they were to work with us. And I think that would be a good thing to show to clients so that they know what to expect. Um, the process, you know, strategy, design, build, launch, and then just an about page. An about page, I want to put like the story of Abra Creative, the team. Um, I have a small team uh, and I, I pretty much have like, you know, a, a secretary and then also freelancers that I consistently work with on a regular basis. I'm going to put them there. And then also I want to put there some of the YouTube videos that we're posting and things on social media. And then of course the contact page. And all in all, by the way, there's kind of an overall theme in all the content of the website and which uh, has to do with branding a little bit. You know, I personally have a hard time niching and you've probably heard of niching or niching, you know, picking a focus. You could even see from my YouTube channel, my focus is like everywhere, right? I'm still trying to figure out, you know, exactly what I want to key on. And it's really hard as creatives to do that because we want to try everything. 
right? We want to, uh, like myself, I, I, I remember I was talking to my wife the other day and I said that, you know what I sometimes hate? Um, I hate that I'm not like a, a master of something. Um, and the, the conversation came up because we were watching the, uh, the show Queen's Gambit. I don't know if you've been watching that on Netflix, by the way. Hey, let me know in the comments below if you've been watching Queen's Gambit on Netflix, an awesome show. And I do love chess as well. So that's why I thought it was extra awesome. But you know, she was a master of chess and I told my wife, like, I'm not really a master of anything. I'm more just like a jack of all trades, master of none. Like I play piano, I'm okay, but I'm not like a master of it. I play guitar, not like a master of it. And that's what's hard with us creatives, right? We want to try everything. We don't want a niche. And that's kind of the problem I'm having, even with my website redesign, that I don't want to box myself in, in a niche or in a niche, even though I know that's what I need to do, even though I know that's what's good for me. But right now with this website redesign, I have a kind of an overarching theme that one thing that I've loved when working with my clients is that uh, I wanted to highlight the communication part and that when you work with us as a client, you become part of the team and we're not just, you know, here to do business with you. We want to form a friendship. We want to have a relationship, a genuine relationship with you as a client. So that's going to be kind of the overarching theme of the website. Um, and that makes its way to the copywriting, to the, you know, the wording on everything and that we're just telling clients that when you design with us, you are part of the process. You're not gonna be left in the dark. We are constantly communicating with you and you become part of the team. And we're gonna build this thing with you and you're part of it every step of the way. Well, anyways, guys, I hope that was a help to you. I know that was kind of everywhere in that video, but this is just the part one of this website redesign series, which is the, uh, this video was about the sitemap and the content. The next video, I'm going to show you on Figma, the wireframe, and then we can give some few pointers on how you can create wireframes. What's a good process for that? What's kind of the thinking? behind it and then the next part will be the design and then the web flow development click the like button help us out with the youtube algorithm and also consider subscribing if you're interested about graphic design about being a freelancer and the design process make sure you click the subscribe button until next time guys always remember always keep learning peace